going on everybody? I wanted to create this video to do a walkthrough and an unboxing of the Massimo e-cooler. I've been in the market for an e-cooler for a little while now and kind of been checking out all the different brands and the different styles that are out there. And then there's like a wide range of prices out there as well. Ultimately, I decided on this Massimo cooler because it was definitely more affordable than some of the name brands out there. It was sold by a, a favorite store of ours, which is Costco. They have a great return policy. So I thought, you know, if anything goes wrong, I could return it and I wouldn't be out of luck. Before purchasing the cooler, I looked uh, Massimo up and they make everything from ATVs to just different uh, utility equipment and this is just another line of what they manufacture. I looked at their website and they make all kinds of equipments. They have power stations, they sell boats and UTVs, Massimo.com. Um, so I figure, what the heck? I mean, uh, if they can make all these other things, I'm sure they have like a great uh, cooler. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open this up and you guys can take a look at it with me. Maybe down the line, I'll do some sort of review where I've uh, gone out and used it and a little follow up on it. But for now, let's just see what it looks like. Let's see what the functionalities are and take it from there. Not too heavy. It's nice. And some uh, more foam on the bottom for protection. So. Can't ask more in packaging. Uh, let's have a look at it. So here's like a little vent here. I'm sure, I mean the compressors, I believe is in here, blowing some of that hot air out. Nice sealed lid there. These are gonna be the, the cords or the power cables. Let's turn it around. telescopic handle, it has a little lock on it, press that down, locks in place, go locks in place even higher, so you can tip it on its, wheel it around, so side vents, uh, it looks like both plugs are going to go right in there, either one will have an adapter for that. On the top, here's the LCD display. So we'll plug that in shortly, but that's what it looks like. It actually has a little USB charger, so you can charge your electronic devices or run a little portable radio or charge your cell phone. Okay, so let's take a look inside. It's pretty deep. I mean, my whole, my whole arm goes in there. about 17 inches deep and uh, it's hard to tell from this angle but it actually goes in and like a L shape it goes underneath here it does have like a drainage uh, deal right here so pop that out let it drain put it back in goes over to the side so the cooler is going to come with two cables. Uh, one is going to be for your car. Plug it into a 12 volt system. That makes it handy on the road when you're on camping trips. You just basically have a refrigerator on the road. But it does have a safety uh, shutoff on it that if it gets to a certain voltage, it'll actually cut out. And there's a setting you could put it on um, high, medium, or low. And then you can determine how low you want to allow to get to before it it shuts off. Otherwise, if you're just using it at home, you have people over or you're having a pool party or something, you can just plug it in uh, to the house as and you would normally would any other appliance. And this part goes inside uh, the cooler. So right now we got it all plugged up right in here. The adapter's plugged in, just a normal uh, home outlet and again, it can plug into the car as well. It comes with the second cord. 
goes in the same fitting there. So you just would take that one out, put this one in, put it in the car. Let's just kind of see what it does. So here's that USB port. It's pretty nice. It's gonna come in handy. Little cup holder deals to set your cups on. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, I was showing the, the voltage. 16, 14, 13, let's set it to 13 degrees. Now the, I don't know if you can hear that, but the compressor's kicked in, the fan's blowing. There's some air coming out of there. Let's see what this is gonna do. Max, eco. So either, so the setting just changes it basically from just like full throttle, maximum cooling, and probably when you reach a certain point, you can drop it in eco mode and it'll kind of maintain a cool temperature efficiently so it's not draining your battery. There's not really much to it. Um, it doesn't slice or dice, but it keeps things, supposed to keep things cold. All right, so I wanted to give you guys a little idea on putting a couple items in there. It gives you a little perspective, then a uh, better perspective on how much room this cooler really has. It's gonna actually probably fit under that space. Some creamer, some elf creamer. Again, just remind yourself, no other ice has to be in here sharing its space. It's just gonna be everything that needs to be cold. Okay, so for now, that's kind of the overview of the cooler. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it's like, what it can hold, you know, in the following days when I actually take it out and use it, then I'll be able to provide some feedback, how we've enjoyed it or what we just like about it. Um, and I'll fill you in on those details later. Oh, no.